built out the entire store of Immaculate Delaware in about a month. I'm gonna show you guys and take you guys along the journey of the entire process. But first, I have to take you guys back to the very beginning. So today I'm actually at an abandoned GameStop. I'm at the Concord Mall in Wilmington, Delaware, where Immaculate Delaware, my new store is gonna be open. I'm starting the build out. Today I'm just gonna be doing a couple things by myself and kind of showing you guys. So in this abandoned GameStop, there is a ton of slat wall. What we ended up deciding, if you guys saw the last video in the store, is that we're gonna end up taking down some of the shelving from how my store is right now. And look at all this slat wall in here. I mean, it, it has a ton of slat wall. So this should be more than enough to fill the store so i'm gonna take a couple walls from the back i talked to the manager at the concord mall and he said it was cool to take some slat wall from the back so big shout out to tom guess i'm gonna start trying to take it down because this isn't painted back here so i don't think it would make sense to take this stuff i don't know i'm trying to decide it would make more sense to take this and then we can end up painting it yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do so Typically when you hear the saying, you get what you pay for, it's most of the time true. So I got this drill from Lowe's earlier today. It was, I think the cheapest drill that I could find there. It was like $32 and yeah, this is not getting the job done. So as you guys can see, I took out a bunch of nails from this so far. There's a ton more just on this one piece that I'm trying to take out. And the main issue is that this drill bit is so small that I can't even really get all the way down here. So if you guys see that, it barely reaches. So it's kind of tough. All right, so back in my store, that was not working. So I'm gonna try to get something else done today, I think. So all this bracket shelving has to go. We're not gonna use any of this, so this can go. And yeah, we don't need this. This whole wall right here, I'm gonna try to attempt today to take this entire wall down because as you guys can see, obviously there's a wall behind it. So we're just gonna be using that and putting a bunch of slat wall all across that, how I kind of had the York store, but hopefully it'll look a little bit better than that. So put a new drill bit on this. I think this should work because I'm not going into something. So this shouldn't be too difficult. 12 seconds later. Okay, I think it's stripped. But I already broke the $32 drill, so that's not gonna work. But today, I'm gonna take all that out. So I'm gonna have to go back to Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever's closer, return this and get a better drill. But first, you know, gotta eat some lunch. Comment down below where you guys think I'm gonna get for lunch. You know I had to get Chick-fil-A. All right, so now I'm about to go to Lowe's. It's about a five minute drive from here. I'm gonna return the other drill and get a better one. I'm gonna start knocking down all those shells that are on that wall over there. Hopefully we'll make some good progress today, so stay tuned. <laughs> So I think we upgraded a little bit. Before the drill was $34 and all this was almost $200. So yeah, this is like insanely different. Watch how much better this one is. The other one couldn't even get these out. This one takes two seconds. So now it'll be no problem. All right, so this is what it's looking like a couple hours later. So I got all the brackets uninstalled from that wall, all of them right there. And yeah, I still have all those. So they actually take a lot longer than I anticipated because I'm having to do it by hand for all these screws right here, just because they're so tight on there that it's stripping the screws and this isn't working for it. So I'm only using this. I don't know if you guys can see that to unscrew the brackets at the top. And then I have to twist those out, but you can only do two screws because you can't reach 
the other one with this drill. So it's been really tough. It's definitely a bigger process than I thought. Here's all the trash from it over here. I'm gonna get an earlier start tomorrow and see you guys tomorrow. All right, so today is day two. Yeah, I guess I got a lot of work. So I think I got about five of those panels down yesterday total. So even that took hours. So there's now 16 more of these, so it's definitely gonna be a big process. Let's get started. So I just took the first one off for today, and yeah, ran into a bit of an issue. The floor is like all messed up, so I don't know if we're gonna have to put a carpet over here, some type of carpet or what, but yeah, that's not looking good. So I just figured something out that's gonna save me a lot of time. So I was unscrewing all of these. I just realized all you have to do is unscrew the bottom and you can just pull the whole board up and it comes off of this thing right here. So then I just have to unscrew these. So as you can see, this one right here, it has all those on it. I just took the bottom one off, so. All right guys, and just like that, I managed to do it in a little over an hour. I definitely surprised myself. It looks really good. The floor is of course a little bit messed up. I'll probably put like a grass turf rug or something just in that area. And then we're gonna paint this wall, I think, to post pictures of people on Instagram, so. But yeah, that's why you always set goals that are manageable because then you can set new goals because honestly, I thought that was gonna take me way longer. Work smarter, not harder. I figured out a solution and ended up getting that done very quickly, much quicker than I thought. Always try to save costs by doing stuff yourself if you're able to do it. All right, so I finished up lunch. I'm back at the abandoned GameStop. I'm in the back of the store and I'm gonna try to uninstall this slat wall. I'll let you guys know if I run into any problems. And if not, I will show you guys once I get the first wall off. So this might be more complicated than I thought and I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna be able to do it. So I've been up there trying to get the screws off. These are different panels. I took all the screws out of this one panel right here and it just won't come out of the wall. I don't understand what's keeping it in. I don't know if there's something down there that I can't see. So unfortunately I might have to call it a day because I might need some help now. I don't know what it is but this flat wall is not coming out. I don't know if there's something in the bottom. We're gonna paint it obviously. First I have to get it out and I don't even know how to get it out. So all right so what I'm gonna actually end up doing is I just called a contractor and he should be able to come out here within 45 minutes to an hour. I'm just gonna get an estimate to see if he can uninstall the slat wall for me and reinstall it into my store and just what he would charge for that. So I had the contractor come out and he quoted to be about $2,500 to paint all the slat wall, uninstall it from the other place and install it to our place and also paint the wall below and above it. So I'm not sure if we're gonna go with that for sure, but it's definitely a lot cheaper. The first contractor we had come out was over $8,000, but it was gonna be a lot more stuff getting done. So I already got some of the work done, so that'll make the labor cheaper, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna think about what I wanna do and decide from there. So it's a couple days later. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to work something out with that contractor. He was being a little bit sketchy. Like he said he was only available to work the next day. I had to talk it over with my partner. And then my partner called him being like an outside party. And he said he was available next week. So it was kind of a weird thing, but I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing because it'll save me some money and I wanna keep trying to do stuff myself. So as you guys remember, I couldn't get the slat wall out even though all the screws were out. And actually the contractor, he came out for free. So that was good. He actually tore this out with his hands. And all you really need is one piece to be torn out. And then look, it looks like I can easily get the rest out once I unscrew everything. So they are glued down and they were screwed in as well, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it's good. So I'm gonna be able to get them out now. I'm gonna update you guys once I get about a couple other panels out maybe. All right, so it's looking good. I got three pieces torn out so far, as you guys can see by the wall. They're all different sizes though, that's the only thing, but it should be fine as long as they're all lined up on my wall, kind of like how this is right here. So the next ones are gonna be a little bit more difficult though, because I haven't unscrewed all the screws. So I'm gonna have to unscrew all those and then it shouldn't be too hard to pull them out hopefully. So I'll let you guys know once I get the next one out. All right, so it's looking good. Four panels out so far now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go for the top ones because they are a lot heavier than they look and I don't want that falling on me because I'm just here by myself. So. So I'm gonna go for these ones probably now and then I'll try to get some of these ones. Doesn't matter if it has stuff like that on it because they will be painted. So I'll let you guys know once I get the next one out. All right, so I now got six of the panels out. So we are making some great progress. Still got a lot more. I'm probably gonna get these two up here, try to get as much as that as I can. And then I'm gonna start making trips over to my store. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, so I literally almost just died. I don't think I actually would've died. Not that dramatic, but uh, yeah. So I was unscrewing this one right here and it just came crashing down. Luckily I was right here and I wasn't over there and the chair was in the way. So the chair caught its fall and it went right there. So it didn't break or anything, which is good too. Yeah, I definitely gotta be careful. That's why I'm not gonna be doing the ones at the top. So we got this one behind the door and then we got 
got all that over there. So I'm definitely gonna get this one down. This will probably be the last one I do for now, right here. And then I'm gonna start taking trips over to my store. All right, so I got all the slat wall that I got off, put outside the door. I took all the screws out. Now I need to pull it off the wall. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Oh my gosh. All right, so that was in there a lot better than I thought. Looks like there's one little screw in there that's keeping this whole thing in. So I'm gonna see if I can get it out, guys. All right, so I got it, but unfortunately the board broke right there at the bottom. So hopefully this is still salvageable. It's not the worst. Maybe we could put this on the end or something, but here is the final progress today for the slat wall that I removed. So looks pretty good. I definitely got a lot of it removed and I don't know if you guys can see, there's a lot more behind there, but. All right, so I was able to get two chairs from a storage room and it should be able to hold up this wall while, while I screw it in. So that might be good. We're gonna paint underneath that and obviously it's gonna be above the outlet. So that'll be perfect. All right, so it actually looks pretty good. Obviously needs to be painted. It looks a little rough, like the condition that it's in, but I mean, the height and everything, I think that's gonna be perfect. It's a little bit uneven so i think i'm gonna wrap it up today because there's no point in overworking today when i'm gonna have some help tomorrow that'll be good i will update you guys tomorrow so it's a couple days later i didn't end up filming anything yesterday but i'll show you guys the progress that we've made so we got all the slat wall pulled from the old GameStop and put over here i mean all the ones that i was able to remove it's eight panels we'll probably need about double this i met with a couple contractors since the last time i spoke to you guys and we're gonna end up putting the slat wall right above this outlet so starting about 12 inches high so this is the one that i put in we're obviously going to take that down and put it a little bit lower and it's going to go seven feet high all along the entire wall we're going to remove the wallpaper paint under it black paint that black and paint most of it black so we're going to paint this back wall black the counter the wall behind the counter and i met with two contractors today so the first one seems pretty promising they estimated about 2500 dollars, which is the estimate that i got from the last contractor it's about the same price but he was only going to paint this wall this contractor is going to paint all the places that we need painted so it's definitely a much better deal and he wasn't super pushy about it so there wasn't anything sketchy with that and then the other contractor we met with today he was very professional but the only thing was he wanted $2,800 which is $300 more and he couldn't even paint so he was just going to be installing the slat wall basically so definitely too high for that so hopefully we're going to be going with the first one we met with today but the only thing is he can't start for another week or two so we'll see with that I'll update you guys next time I do something so All right guys, so it's about a week later and today has been a terrible day so far. I have some good news and some bad news. So the good news is that the contractor is hopefully finally able to start working today. We got one more quote after the last time I updated you guys. It was for like 23,000. So I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know if they misinterpreted what we told them, but that was absolutely insane. We ended up going with the quote for $2,495. So I think definitely a very fair price for what needs to get done. But yeah, now let's get to the bad news. So. I I woke up very early this morning, probably 6.45, something like that. Got ready, it was gonna leave around 7.30. I walk outside and my car is gone. I didn't know what the heck to do, so luckily there was a very nice neighbor, one of the other residents in my apartment complex, and she asked if I was looking for my car, and I was like, yeah, I am. And she's like, the same thing happened to her when she first moved there. They towed her car, she had out-of-state plates as well, and because there's no parking, the complex sucks. Like, there's so many residents, and there's only so many parking spots. In front of the building, there's never any parking, so I typically park, like, right next to a parking spot, and there's still plenty of room for cars to back up and stuff. It wasn't in anyone's way, but the one time that I need to be somewhere, of course, they tow it so I didn't know what to do but she gave me the people that towed her car and it ended up being the same people that towed mine I took a lift here and I called them like five times no one answers their phone the stupid towing company is terrible they towed my car and they don't even answer their phone so I called the non-emergency number and they gave me the public records number and they told me that my car was indeed towed by this company they said it was a private towing and that's all the information they could give me they said it was here I called them again and it said I guess their office hours are 9 a.m. but I've been looking through all the lots I don't even see my car here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully at 9 a.m. someone will be in the office here and I can get my car. But yeah, this day is off to a terrible start. I'm hoping it can get better and gonna try to stay positive. And yeah, I'm hoping the contractors can get a lot of work done today. And even though it's already delayed a couple hours, probably I'll update you guys. 
Well, I stand corrected. This day just got worse. So I finally just received a text from them. I don't know how they got my number, but I received a text from them and they said, sorry, the office has a one hour delay. So now they're not going to open till 10 a.m. I told the contractor 8.30, then 9.30. So now I got to delay it again for him. And they said they only accept cash payments. So I, I don't have any cash. I don't know how I'm going to get cash. So this is ridiculous. So now I'm going to have to probably take an Uber somewhere else. I already spent like $30, $40 on an Uber and now I have to get cash too. So this is just great. They didn't even say how much it is. I don't know. Luckily there's an ATM like a minute walk from here. So I'm going to see how far that is. I'm not looking good guys. It was a minute drive, but it's actually like a 15 minute walk. So yeah, I'm walking right alongside a very dangerous highway. So this is great too. So it ended up taking me to a place that's not even open yet. It's under construction. So that's great. Now I got another 15 minute walk back the other way and hopefully it's there. This day just keeps getting worse. They just called me and canceled because they said they can't pay them to sit around until 11 and they're charging a $150 no-show fee. So. All right, so finally one thing kind of worked out. Luckily that place did have an ATM, so I got a 15 minute walk back and hopefully they'll be there at 10. All right, and it got worse again. So I'm going back to the ATM. I got $300 out of the ATM. I was like, oh, it might be 200 bucks, 250 bucks, but nope, it's $335 because they had to use special equipment. I know it's my fault for parking my car there, but it just sucks. Like. I don't know, I was heated. I don't even know if she's gonna give me my car at this point because I gave her my ID and she thought I threw it at her because I like placed it down and it fell and I just walked out, I don't know. The part that really got me going is she's like, I understand you're upset. No, you don't understand. I'm gonna get the rest of the money and hopefully I can get my car. Oh wow, so that's what's gonna look like. All right, guys, so it is exactly three weeks later. Unfortunately, we had to reschedule the contractors and I didn't have another available date until about three weeks later. So went through a lot in those three weeks, but luckily they are finally working on the project. It finally looks like it's gonna get done within the next couple days. So this is what we're looking at for day one. All right guys, so today is the second day of the contractors doing work. And again, it was just one contractor. So I guess they're short workers. No one seems to want to work. He just left for the day. So they said they're going to finish it tomorrow. Hopefully they finish it tomorrow. As you guys can see, this wall is the same as yesterday. He didn't have a second guy with him so they couldn't hang any more slat wall. So all the wallpaper is removed from what's going to be painted. As you guys can see right there, up there, it's removed as well. There's just that tiny little spot right there they have to remove tomorrow. This is going to be painted black. Pretty much everything's going to be painted black. The wall's all spot and ready to be painted and then we have a big pile over here that needs to be thrown out now as you guys can see all the stuff over there finally got the insurance for the store I got the certificate of insurance just need to get a business license the morning of like 45 minutes before the contractor was supposed to show up he cancels again and reschedules it so now he's probably not going to be here for another couple days and this saturday is two weeks before october 1st which is when we want to open the store so we were going to announce it on saturday but now i don't know if we even can so we might have to give people less than a two weeks notice of when we're opening so it's cutting it close but we did get some new things in so i'm gonna show you guys this so these are the shells that i had in the york store these are the same ones for slat wall so you could fit up to 500 shoes on this wall if we did the math right but we're probably going to have about 250 to 300 because they'll be more spread out they're not going to be literally touching each other like that today we're still going to try to get some work done hopefully we can get the wi-fi set up because we just got that yesterday we just need to plug the box in and get that set up so it's a couple days later the contractors did come back out luckily and this is how the wall is looking so far so both sides of the wall are completed now this wall is going to have to be painted and the rest of the store painted we did clear out this big pile of debris over here from what was previously on the wall. I'll update you guys once the store is painted, so.
All right, guys, so it is literally 2.24 a.m. right now. I can't show you my phone because I'm recording this on my phone. I didn't bring a camera or anything, but we've literally been in here for 18 hours. The contractor, super dope guy, we've had some real conversations with him because we've been here forever and the project took a lot longer than they expected. And I'll show you guys the mall so you guys can see real quick. It is the middle of the night. No one is here. So today is Saturday. I think they're gonna come back out on Tuesday to finally finish it. Still gonna leave us with some time. Some of the paint needs some more coats and this area especially that's not done yet. So that's why it looks like that. But you guys can kind of see it's finally coming together. And yeah, it should be good. So I will update you guys in a few more days. All right guys, so I'm so excited. We finally finished the contract work. So big shout out to Jared and Sully's Construction for helping this project. Even though it took a long time, it finally came together. And of course we want it done right. So as you guys can see, we just put up all the slat shelves, whatever you call them, these little clear shelves. They're all put up on this wall. We can fit about 300 pairs of shoes. So we're gonna be opening with about 300 brand new pairs of shoes. We're gonna be buying, selling, and trading. And the grand opening date is October 1st. Check out the new Instagram post. I just posted it on Instagram. I did a collaboration with the new store Instagram that you guys can follow at Immaculate Delaware. We're gonna be posting the rest of the store updates there and all the inventory and customers that come to the store. So I wanna take you guys on a little tour. There's not too much to show, but as you guys can see, it's coming together very nicely. We still do have a little bit of work to do. It's starting to finally look like a sneaker store. I'll show you guys how the counter looks. I think this looks pretty good because if you guys remember before, it was basically scratch off paint. It was like yellow and purple. So this matte black is a super clean finish. Looks really good. We're gonna end up putting our logo on the desk right here, a light up sign. That's gonna look really good. We're gonna do something cool with that wall eventually. We're gonna do something with that wall. So it's gonna look really good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and share this video. If you guys if you already subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Turn on post notifications. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Camps Official. Follow the new store account at Immaculate Delaware. I'm excited for this next chapter. The next video I'm going to be bringing you guys is once I get all the inventory in here. So I'll give you guys a brief summary of the 300 pairs of shoes that we'll be selling. And we're going to be shrink wrapping all the shoes, getting them together, and putting the security system in place. We're going to have 16 security cameras. So everything's coming together. I'm so excited, guys. Looking forward to October 1st. Can't wait to see you guys at the grand opening. We'll be open 12 to 8 p.m. at 4737 Concord Pike in Wilmington, Delaware, 19803. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night.